Hi, good morning. Uh, today I'm at nearby my house garden here. I'm not going anywhere for this uh, past one, two months. <laughs> Excuse me. Because uh, past three, four weeks ago, I have a second time of COVID. So I was quarantined at home. And after that, I have a, a sadness of smell for almost one month. <coughs> and um, until today, I still have some cough. For this uh, past two months, I didn't go to any place for camping because of not only the COVID, uh, also due to the weather. Uh, this in Malaysia here, this two months was uh, always every day raining. So even today, this morning, also raining. Uh, probably in the late afternoon, uh, probably two o'clock also will have a heavy rain again. So uh, this month is not a really good time to go for camping or hiking and it could be a uh, landslide or this thing could be happen or flood you know so be careful if you all uh, wish to continue to go for camping during this raining season okay since uh, this two months i'm not going anywhere so i couldn't introduce some new places uh, i cut it short for now i will come up one more video this within a week about the review of this year so today I'm going to share with you, uh, please be reminded this video is not sponsored. On my previous video also is not a sponsor regarding the L Century Park uh, owned by Vincent. So today I will share this video. Uh, it's more in detail. He's showing his tiny home and his son home is also as L Century. They use an uh, existing chalet to convert to a tiny house. So if those who are interested to come to Malaysia for retirement, uh, to settle down here, or some may want to change a new places, uh, a much simple house to maintain because due to the old age already. So perhaps this place you might consider. Okay, I will cut it short. So I'll show this video now. Bye. Welcome to my simple, basic log cabin. This is my wife's uh, veggie garden. <coughs> veggie, veggie plot, you can see Vietnam uh, uh, Yim Sai. Uh, all this. I'm very proud of her. We get our veggie from here and eat for me and her. Easy going. So we have the one and only papaya that is bearing fruit. Yeah, so this is our setup. This is where we have our breakfast sometime and sometimes we have our dinner. And we just love the scenery where we are living in the forest and yet you can see the uh, yellow flowering on the tree. So we just love this. Come, let me show you my humble little lot cabin. This is our space that we have created for our living area. Me and my wife, very simply, we, we eat on this table. We, we cook outside the garden and uh, if it's raining, we will have our electrical stove. Uh, we wash and uh, we make our coffee here. And our TV, our exercise place. 
and we have an open concept toilet basin our stooling and our shower of course if our children come they're not comfortable they can very easily yeah otherwise for me and my wife we are always this is my bedroom. Yes. Yeah, this is the original chalet. We extended our living area. And this is the area where sometimes my wife will do her exercise and uh, my bicycle barang are all here. This was the original chalet very small pantry area so we extended it into a, a, a much bigger uh, pantry area and it is from here that we can also get access to our front lanai I can show you now. I walk you to my son Shelley. Huh? Hi, I'm Sherman. This is my wife Sarah. Hello. Come, let us show you our house. So over here we have the uh, kitchen. It was a. It all started with just a small chalet. Just this and the hall there. So as our family grew, we now have uh, four children. So we extended the back part, we made a room, master room that side. And then subsequently we also extended to the side to make another two more rooms behind there. So this we have the kitchen where we do uh, light cooking. Fridge, pantry, oven. Over here we have our living. And this is the playroom. Hi guys. Hi kids. Hi. <laughs> this is our toy room. And now we are playing. And now we are playing. Now we build an airport to play. This is the toy room and the Gerald, you want to say something? <laughs> Jeremy and Jane spend a lot of their time here together with our youngest but she's asleep downstairs right now. We, we wanted to create a space for them to play so the mess is also contained in one space, in one area as we live in a very small um, chalet so this is just for them so they can do however they please in here. Here we have our master room. It's a small room, enough for the both of us and our daughter. We've got a baby cot there. And we've also got our end suite. Yeah, this is our inbuilt wardrobe, built by my husband. And our youngest daughter still stays with us here in, in the court in her in our with, with us. Um, um, we decided not to put curtains. We eventually did make curtains, but we decided not to put it up because we 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 enjoyed the natural light coming in early in the mornings and throughout the day. So we preferred this open concept of this window. Let's go behind and see my brother's room. Welcome to my room. I live with my brother Jeremy over here. Who is a bit shy to be on camera, maybe. He has many Legos and he likes a movie called Star Wars. Well, this is mine. Oh, they are ships from, from Star Wars. 
This is our toilet at the back. But we don't really shower here, we just pee in the night. This is my room. Soon my younger sister will stay with me. And I have a few Legos there that I build. Let's go see my brother's that time. This is a leopard gecko. Her name is Leko. The one is also another leopard gecko. His, His name, name is Randy. We used to have a snake, but he escaped. And here is his new uh, bearded dragon. Yeah, this is the log cabin that my friend have built. And here we have got lots more places for some more cabin to be built for you to have your retirement here and also on this section of the land. Furthermore, even behind there, stretch all the way, three acres of cabin that can be built different design with different shape and different requirement that will fit and suit your need so welcome to l sanctuary okay we 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 have plans according to the will of our good lord jesus we have allocated two acre for a 40 unit uh, apartment for retiree luxuriously done with swimming pool and all facilities which will also be managed by the retiree themselves uh, to form an association and have a management team so that we can retire with dignity. Look at this. In the whole of this uh, rubber estate, even in the interior where my friends have their own farm, I can't see this growing, but this is growing very well almost in every part of El Sanctuary. We have lots of this in the forest, we have lots of this as you come in. And this can only grow naturally. If there's any tempering or if there's any uh, 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 insecticide or if we even do fumigation, this will not survive. And things like this, you only find them in Cameron and in Genting Highland. If you pay attention, you hear the cicada mating. Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm from El Century. I'm one of the caretakers here. And as you can see, this is part of our farm to table project. We are rearing chickens. The breed is a special kind of breed. It is a cross breed of kampung and it's called kacuk chicken or in Chinese hua chi or in English lesser known as flower chicken. These chickens are raised, bred and the eggs we harvest here and we also hatch the eggs to make new batches of chickens and we sell right to your table. Okay, this is uh, Mary Flora, my daughter-in-law's uh, grandma, the, the, the children's great-grandma. She's almost 90 years old and she really enjoy staying here. I, I like this quietness, then I do, I will be, sometimes I'll be alone here for hours, but I don't mind. Nothing is happening to me, I will pray, I will sit down. Whatever I want to do, I will do, or anything like that. 
I hope the people uh, come and see, can, they can come and visit, they come and see, or they can make arrangements to come and stay here one night, two night. I thank God for that. God bless you all. This is Daniel. So he is now being put to take charge of El Sanctuary. You have a few words to tell us. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm now the caretaker of this place. I just want to invite all those who are watching. If you are free and if you are around, if you want just a short getaway, a place to uh, go away and just rest and relax, give us a call and uh, we know that this place will bless you as much as it, as it has blessed our family and many other people. God bless you all. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome. Welcome. See you all. all of you. See you all soon again. Thank you.